Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a couple action figures made by McFarland Toys. And these were produced in the late 1990s uh, for the Dark Ages Spawn series. And I have a number of other figures uh, that are loose uh, from this particular collection. Uh, but these two are in the package and I wanted to show you these first just so you can get, get a feel for what the packaging style is like. I've never taken these out, uh, mainly because uh, I think they just look fantastic in the package. And in terms of articulation, uh, they don't probably have as much as they should. Um, you know, most of these are pivot joints. Uh, they're not uh, fully articulated in terms of uh, being able to do as many poses as they probably should for an action figure of this scale. But what they lack uh, in articulation, they make up for in terms of sculpting and paintwork. Because this just looks amazing. And this figure is massively heavy too. Uh, you can see the on the uh, head sculpt of this. Just looks amazing. And it comes with a removable mask. And also another armor piece over here that uh, can be attached to the leg. And in the back you can see there's a gigantic battle axe uh, that he has as a weapon. So very cool figure. Um, love all the detail on this. I just think it looks, you know, amazing. You can see on, on the back of the figure, there's like those spikes coming off the back. So uh, great looking figure. And I'll show you on the back of the package, like how much uh, they were producing at this time. You can see all these various figures that were produced for this Dark Ages series. And I have some of these other ones. I believe I have the Ogre and I might have Spellcaster. I know I have a couple of these other ones, so I have them loose. Uh, so I'll, I'll get a chance to uh, show you some of those in a future video. Uh, they also had Kiss Psycho Circus. That was another series they were doing. And then there was Spawn Series 12 down here. So you can see just a ton of stuff that they were actually producing at this time period. So, and you can see the date on the package, 1998. So, yeah, this was late 1990s. And um, I, I believe uh, McFarland's made a bit of a comeback in terms of uh, their presence in um, stores lately. I've noticed... Uh, Certainly Spawn, uh, you know, has a whole bunch of figures that are, are being release, released now in like 2021. So it, it's pretty cool to see this stuff coming back. Here we have the Skull Queen. Uh, again, her articulation is pretty limited. I think there's a pivot joint at the hip, probably one at the shoulder. There might be a bicep swivel as well and probably a, a head articulation too, but uh, pretty limited in terms of like her movement, but... Again, what it lacks in articulation, it makes up for in terms of sculpting and all these accessories. You know, there's three different weapons in here. This huge axe here, the smaller axe that can be wielded by this little minion figure, and this axe, medium-sized axe over here. And you can see on her uh, back piece, there's actual uh, real chains kind of hanging off of that. So and you can see on the head sculpt, very cool detail on that too. So just all the intricate sculpting and paintwork, you know, make, makes these things just sort of amazing to have. So I'm very happy to have these in my collection. And again, it's pretty much the same uh, setup on the back of the package. Shows, you know, the various other things that were being offered by McFarland. So a uh, couple of really cool figures. And we'll get a chance to take a look at uh, more of these in some future videos. Because I have some loose examples from, from the series. So I'll be reviewing those in, in some future videos. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And like I said, if you want to see uh, more uh, McFarland toys in the future, think about subscribing because I will be covering more of this type of thing in future videos. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.